poorest towns in the UK, Newport, Wales. Newport is one of the towns in the UK that people don't migrate to. The reason? It's one of the poorest places to live in the United Kingdom. We included it in a video that ranked it along with other poor towns in the country, but time wouldn't allow us to do justice to that account in the video. Yet we feel we need to tell you more so that you can be convinced beyond doubt and sentiment that this town in the beautiful and tranquil countryside of Wales is indeed poor. As usual, this video will not cast aspersion on the competence of the governmental authority, it's only a wake-up call. But to start with, where's Newport located? It's a county borough situated on the River Usk, not far from its confluence with the Severn Estuary. The Welsh town is located 19 kilometres northeast of Cardiff. We understand that Newport, the third largest authority with city status in Wales, was granted that status during the Golden Jubilee celebration of the late Queen. Yet, for the purpose of this video, we would consider this seventh most populous authority overall a town, as we have done in our video about the poorest towns in Britain. Kindly bear that in mind as we discuss the place that became a unitary authority in 1996 and which is part of the Cardiff-Newport metropolitan area. Is Newport really poor? We honestly wouldn't have considered Newport poor and ranked it anywhere near the poorest towns if we hadn't heard about its damning position in the most recent index of multiple deprivation in Wales. The report shows that it is now the most deprived area in Wales. The Welsh Index of Multiple Deprivation, WIMD, before arriving at this conclusion, measures deprivation levels primarily on income and employment. It also considers domains of health, education, community safety, access to services, living environment and housing. According to the recent WIMD data, Newport is unfortunately not making enough or considerable process in its effort to address the deprivation earlier observed in 2011 and 2014. In 2011, as many as 16 areas of this town ranked among the 10% most deprived in Wales. By then, it was the fourth most deprived in the country. In 2014, the number remained the same and the ranking soared. But now, the number of neighbourhoods ranked among the most deprived in Wales has grown to 23, which is equal to 24% of the authority. And the remainder of the 95 neighbourhoods in Newport are at risk of becoming deprived if this trend continues. The current rate is the biggest percentage of any local authority in the country. That explains why the entire area is considered the most deprived. The most deprived areas of Newport. Yes, we know that not all of the 95 Newport neighbourhoods on WIMD records are deprived. But consider what we just said. If 24.2% of them are found among the most deprived 10% in Wales, and 60% of them are in the top 50%, doesn't that hoist a big banner announcing deprivation? To confirm the veritableness of the data, we tell you all the neighbourhoods so that you too can judge if such should be within a governed local authority. On the records of WIMD, we found the Pilgwenly 4 area. This comprises the northern parts of Pill near Commercial Road. Part of Cardiff Road is also included. The record also mentioned Pilgwenly 1, which is in the area at the lower end of Commercial Road, Alexander Road, and Mendelgreef Road. We have on that list Tradigar Park 2, covering a large part of the Dufferin Estate. Betus, which includes the area inside Mono Way, is also there. Another one is the location named Ringland 5, referring to the area of the Southern Distributor Road, near Hendry Farm Drive. And really, those areas are indeed deprived. The Council's Position it's expected as usual that the council, having the administration of this town, will not agree completely that the data represent the true situation of their town. Therefore, it's downplaying the implication of its being deprived by emphasising what it calls significant progress being made overall in the city. Well, in our usual attempt to be neutral and balanced, let's look at what the council wants you to believe. Their official statement is this. It is not necessarily true to say that Newport is becoming more deprived, but the evidence would suggest it is not making the same progress as other parts of Wales. The Council also states that significant progress has been made in Newport with many of the key aims and objectives of the LDP fulfilled. The Council is referring to house building and job growth. The authorities say nearly 6,000 new homes have been built. They claim that job growth in Newport is above the target set in the Council's Local Development Plan, LDP. 
Accordingly, job growths, house values and proportions of economically active people in Newport are proof that the city is becoming a more prosperous place to live. A council leader, Councillor Jane Mudd, said the council's performance against the LDB targets set had been very good, citing as examples of some of their key achievements 94% of housing developments that were being completed on brownfield sites. She also pointed to 1,200 affordable homes being built together with nearly 26 hectares of new employment land. The place God missed. To give the benefits of the doubt, we agree with their position. After all, we've come across other optimistic data about Newport, especially the ones published by the local authority. We've seen the employment and income data released on their websites as showing the city not faring too bad when compared with the UK situation as a whole. Yet this is looking only at the entire local authority. It has ignored what's really happening in respective neighbourhoods. Worldwide, politicians love to direct the attention of analysts and foreigners to the development around their capital cities and major areas of their domain. The disparity in the availability of infrastructure can be great in most cases. This appears to be the situation in Newport. While we want to agree that there are very good places around the local authority, it's not general. Some of the residents may be living in relative comfort with good jobs, yet Newport has areas with an unacceptably high level of deprivation. Neighbourhoods mentioned earlier that we found in the authentic and most reliable data of WIMD are so deprived that you can hardly imagine that they're in the UK. But are these also parts of Newport Township? If yes, their situation will neutralise any achievement, improvement or progress being recorded in progressing neighbourhoods of the town. Thus, when viewed as a whole, Newport is one of the most deprived towns. While describing those areas, a reviewer describes the town as the place that God missed when he created the world. He described the main city centre as a mess of clothes shops that can't consistently maintain business operations. The shops, according to the reviewer, continually close business and come to be in possession of other businesses with new names a few days later. For those who can see the unseen, hear the unsaid and read the unwritten, this is an indication of economic and income deprivation if the position of the reviewers represents the situation in those deprived neighbourhoods in the town. A subtle admission of the existence of poverty. We find a hint that the Newport Council seemingly admits that all is not well in every part of the city. The Council's annual monitoring report of its LDP admits that the ranking of their town as the most deprived town represents a significant negative shift for it, adding that it is a concerning statistic. Councillor Deb Davies, a member of the Cabinet saddled with the task of sustainable development, when responding to this, told a Cabinet meeting that it was especially of concern that figures now showed their beloved Newport as the most deprived authority in the whole of Wales, adding that the Council was working out a plan in collaboration with stakeholders to address these issues. The Way Forward Rather than the local authorities indulging in self-praising, they can do more to attract more investment into the town and help them survive. It attracted Europe's largest inward investment in 1997 when LG Group announced a £1.7 billion project that would create 6,100 jobs. If it has sustained that and several others that expressed similar interest or attempted several investments, its story would have been different. However, the more important area demanding urgent and concerted effort is the redistribution of wealth within the local authority. It's of no value when an area is OK while another is highly deprived. Considering this situation in Newport, Wales, what do you think can be done to improve the situation? We'd love to hear from you on this. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.